Hello RuneScape, we'll miss it here with the new video on how is everyone doing. If you're a dedicated RuneScape player, you're probably one of those who value the small details in a game and let the geek inside of you get excited when you hear facts you've never heard before, which is exactly what this video is aimed to bring you. And here you have it, 25 incredible RuneScape facts. Let's get into this. When XXXNeo XXX7 got 200 million experience in fletching in 2006, who at the time was the first ever player to get 200 million XP in any skill, he complained on the forums thinking the 200 million cap was a bug and was scared his second place would pass him once that player also hit 200 mil. Before Divination was released, the rank 1 player at the time, Suomi, was about to get his final 200 million XP skill, and via that be the first ever player to get 200 million XP in every skill in the game. He was invited to Jagex to livestream his achievement, but before the date he accidentally clicked on a Guthix butterfly giving XP in his lowest skill of being thieving with 199,999,999 XP, getting 200 million XP in his last skill. Bob the Cat, which is an in-game NPC based on a cat that Modmark used to own before it passed away, can be seen running around anywhere in RuneScape. It has the largest walking distance for any NPC and was actually a bug that Jagex didn't feel the need to fix. On two different occasions, two players have been banned for botting, purely because it played so efficient that a J-Mod mistook it for a bot. While the Gara brothers were developing RuneScape, their mother designed some of the earliest NPCs in the game. In the early years of RuneScape, Jagex publicly congratulated couples who had found each other in RuneScape and later on married in real life. In 2011, it was possible to pay a fee of real life money in order to have your banned account unbanned. The way this worked was that you could apply to pay for the unban, in which Jagex would review your case. If they felt it wouldn't damage the game to put you back in, your account would be placed in a negative credit, meaning your account would be unplayable until you had paid the needed amount of money. Nexus Combat Level is a reference to its release date being 10th of January, 1001. Snake's Lava was the first person to ever achieve 99 range. When he was banned for botting, he brought his computer to Jagex to prove he did not bot. To prove he could do the same again, he once again got 99 range on his second account, being the third account to ever get 99 range. Senior developer Modmark still had contact with the founder of RuneScape, Andrew Gower, and frequently updates him about the future of the game, like the death of Gothix to have his input on the ideas. Early plans for the second world event included Bando starting the war by killing Yelps by throwing him at the Armadale Tower. In my opinion, that would be better than what actually happened. There are four moderators in the game, Jagex, Player Forum and the lesser known one, the local moderator, who are employed at a third party company which have deals with Jagex to create events on the foreign servers. They have more options than a player moderator, but less than a Jagex moderator. If you put the first letter of the names on the team keep sellers in order, it will spell out Wilderness. A few players have combat level 1. These are bots that were banned and reset during RuneScape Classic but have had their accounts unbanned later on. It is completely impossible to recover Zezuma's account. So many hijackers attempt to recover it account so much, so that if the real Zezuma ever should get in any account trouble, he needs to manually call the Jagex HQ himself to get help, where j already have his contact information. The summoning skill was leaked months before its actual release, but people thought it was fake. When Old School RuneScape was released in 2013, it still contained a major bug that let players disconnect each other within a certain range by typing out a special alt code. Back in 2007, this bug was patched not long after the date which the current Old School RuneScape takes place. After the bug got patched in 2007, it became known as one of the most notorious bugs in the RuneScape history. The rune armor was originally going to be purple. Andrew Gower was usually seen walking around with the armor as purple sometime before the public release. In RuneScape Classic, a steel body required level 96 smithing to create. Imagine that with the perspective of today's requirements. In early RuneScape, you used to be able to choose a class when you created your account. This would let you start out with some XP and items based on the class you chose. The wall between Lumbridge and Old Creed was purely created to make the game feel larger. Against popular belief, eating enough cabbage chests will not make it taste okay. In Classic, only one player at a time could talk to an NPC, so that when new content was released like new quests, there would usually be several quest NPCs, so that more people could do the quest quicker. As of September 2014, there only existed 113 Vitalis pets after Varaga's release date in July 2013, having a drop rate of 1 in 5000 or 1 in 2500 in hard mode. 
And lastly, when a player gets permanently banned, they are banned for exactly 100,000 hours. However, when a ban passes its 10th year, the timer will reset. Well guys, that's all the facts I had for this one. If you liked the video or if you learned something new, give the video a thumbs up and I'll do another one in the future. Let me know what you thought. My name is Will Missit and I'll see you guys later.